Hi all, Lee Veras here with Photo Tech Tuesday. Each week I'll be posting a new video about photography, technology, art, and everything in between. Today I'm going to look at using generative fill in Photoshop to simulate motion blur in a waterfall image. We'll examine this specific technique with an image captured during our last photo adventure in Iceland. Okay, so let's dig in. All right, so here we are uh, in Photoshop, and here's my image. This was captured uh, in Iceland at uh, Witch's Hat. Uh, some, excuse me, I just don't know the Icelandic name, and nor could I ever manage to pronounce it. Uh, but anyway, Witch's Hat is a sort of mountain in the background, and there's these three waterfalls here that we have this view uh, looking towards Witch's Hat. And um, typically, when I'm doing these photo adventures with a, a bunch of people going along with us, I usually don't bring a tripod. I don't shoot off of a tripod because I'm busy running from one person to the next, helping them get the shot. So I get my shot really quickly, and I don't bother to do the long, uh, the long motion blur, uh, which would be classic here for these waterfalls. Um, so I thought, well, why can't I just do it after the fact? So we're going to try using uh, generative fill here. And uh, the trick here is to just do one at a time. You don't try and do everything all at once. So I'm just going to kind of lasso um, the part that I just, just the water that I really want to blur. And that means also um, the frothy water here at the bottom. I want to smooth all of that out. And I'm really just kind of isolating um, the main part of this waterfall. Okay, so now we're going to click on generative fill here. And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, we have to put in some sort of prompt. So I'm just going to say uh, motion blur, blur, waterfall. And we'll click on generate. And let's see, with any luck, that will look pretty good. Let's see what happens. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's see. Uh, that did some weird thing up there. I kind of like that. I love the way that looks. Let's see how that first one looks. No, I'm 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 digging this. This is working. Uh, okay, so let's let's try this technique again. We'll go back to my background layer here, and we'll select that waterfall. And again, the frothy water in the bottom there. And we'll do our generative fill. Again, motion blur, waterfall, and generate. OK, cool, cool. Let's see. Not as good. Not as good. I think we're back. Let's try this again. Sometimes, you know, you can keep hitting generate until it gives you what you want. I think. Uh, I think we could get something that looks more like this one. Let's try it again. All right, I'm not getting what I want, so I'm going to update the, the prompt. I'm going to say smooth motion blur waterfall. Let's, let's see what that does. Better, better. I think that one's that one's uh, passable. Okay, so let's uh, let's go again. And you know, really, if you don't get what you want the first time, don't be afraid to to roll again. You can roll several times. Always, you can always start over, but you can roll several times here. Let's see. Uh, and we'll do that smooth motion blur waterfall. Oh, we didn't get much out of that one. Let's try it again. Put a, we'll put, again, smooth white 
Ocean Blur Water. Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah. It's better was better before. All right, I'm going to start over. I'm going to ditch this one. And let's. See. I'm struggling with this right now. So what? You know, um, I'm going to get rid of that, and we'll try something else. Let's do this. I'll, I'll do the same sort of thing. Actually, I'm going to just. I'm going to. This time I'm going to select just inside of the of the water. I don't want to get. I'm not going to get any of the edge, the outside edge of this waterfall, just inside of that. And we'll do something that doesn't involve generative fill. I'm going to jump that into a new layer, right? So it, there we go. So I've got this water in an empty layer here. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a motion blur. Let's let's try that. We'll do a blur motion blur. It's kind of old school. So I want to get the blur to follow the direction of the water. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and let's give it. We'll just increase. There we go. That's starting to look like. Motion blur water. And I'm gonna I'm going to resize that so that it covers up some of this jagged edge here. So I'll do Commander Control T and uh, let's just kind of stretch that a little bit. We'll go, um, let's do distort. So in, if we right click or control click on a Mac, right click on a PC, I'm gonna change this to distort so that I can I can play around with uh, the free transform in a, in a freer way. Because I don't want too much of this frothy edge showing up because that that kills the the motion blur look so we'll stretch this out just a little bit maybe a little bit up like that to cover up that outside edge just a bit and all right now i'm done and i think we're good one more thing i can try is is to smooth out this water down here because the waterfall looks nice and smooth but uh, it'd be nice if this water down here was smooth. So again, I select the background layer. Let's try it one more time. Let's try our motion blur. So I'm just going to select all of this uh, ripply water because I want that to smooth out. And let's just see. We don't need any real resolution in that water. As you know, generative fill only has a, a 1080 pixels of resolution. So whatever we throw in here, because we're asking it to be blurry, uh, it shouldn't matter the resolution. So I've selected a fairly big area. Let's, let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my generative fill again. And I'm going to say smooth motion blur water. Let's try it, see what happens. Okay, cool. Too smooth. I kind of like this because it's giving a feeling of motion in the water. All right. So there's uh, there's my newly blurred <laughs> motion blur waterfall, and I did this pretty quickly. You know, I you could spend more time, roll it more times to get a more ideal result. But let's uh, check out the original, and with the motion blur, and it alters some things a little bit. So you just have to figure out what you can tolerate. But uh, there you go. Well, that's it for now. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully this has provided some inspiration for your own work and perhaps you'll find a use for gender to fill motion blur uh, on some of your own images. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss another Phototech Tuesday and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.